<laughs> well, hello again. Don Conroy here. You're very welcome to another Draw with Don. And today, as you can see, we're going to draw a pelican. Now, the pelican is a very heavy bird, water bird. It's got a big long bill and it's got a big pouch underneath. It's, it's like a net for catching the fish. So this is a nice, uh, fun cartoon. So are we ready? Good. So I'm using a crayon to draw and I'll just take this down. Actually, just before I take it down, I just want to show you. Just imagine uh, the head almost like this circular shape and the body sort of almost like an oval shape. They're the two main little uh, ideas because the great Michelangelo once said there's a secret shape in everything. So once you get to know the shape, it just makes things a little bit simpler. Now we'll begin. So we start off drawing a nice curve up here. Again, I'm using a crayon. And then we bring this line from here straight off like this. And as I said, it's a very long bill. And it goes off into a curve like that. Back around into another curve and bring it right back like this. And then a little curve down here and then up into a bit of a smile. And you'll see why it's smiling in a moment. It's just caught a fish. Okay. So here's the pouch. We go back here, right down like that. And you kind of think a bit like a triangle shape. Back up like that. And then around like that. And there we have it. Now the eyes, uh, again, just think of sort of egg shapes like this. And you don't have to draw the complete egg shape, but just have that in your mind. And then the pupils are like two little black grapes like that. Now, <laughs> I'll give the pelican some nice eyebrows. <laughs> and during uh, the breeding season, they kind of have a, what looks like a little crest coming out like that. But anyway, I'll go back up here and I'll draw the fish. The fish is half in, half out. Probably have lots of fish inside there. So we draw a curve line like this. Bring it right across like that. Into a point. Back around like that. And then we indicate the little dorsal fins and the tail. Luke. So you can see why it's smiling now. And now the next thing is, as I said, the body. It's a big heavy set bird, as I said earlier. So we start with a curve like this and go right around like that, and then up and down like this. And Come up here just below the, the chin so to speak and we go right around like this with the neck back around like this and we bring that around like that now actually although they're they're mainly white when i'm drawing the white pelican and uh, they have black primary feathers you can so i just kind of I'll just darken a little section of that just to indicate where they're folded up like that. Now the, the, the amazing thing about the, the different uh, kind of f feeding ways, this one here goes around sitting on the water with its head, the, the bill uh, dipped down underneath. And by doing that, it, it catches the fish and sometimes it does a whole group of, of them. Now the brown pelican actually goes up in the air 
and dives down into the water just like if you'd see a gannet or a bird like that behaving like that. So that's the different techniques when it comes to fishing. Now the feet uh, are back in, in underneath the body like this. So you just saw a little curved line like that and they're actually got, they have web feet but just so that's very handy if you're if you're involved with the wa any kind of water. <laughs> so there you are. So you can just put one roughly behind the other. You don't need to be too fussy, it's just we're just uh, doing a little cartoon, having a bit of fun. Now the next thing is I just want to indicate that it's sitting on a bit of a, a rock. And maybe we'll just roughly indicate some seaweed, maybe a smaller rock in the distance like that. So once you've done that and you're happy with the whole shape, then I'm very quickly going to put a little bit of colour on it. And uh, simple. I'm just going to use a little bit of blue and green just and by putting some uh, colour like this, it highlights the white very well. So you can just see. Now you can use watercolour paints, you can use poster paints or whatever you fancy. Again, I'm just using these uh, crayons and you've probably seen me doing, using them before. And these are actually watercolour crayons and I'm just drawing on a little bit of cartridge here. So don't worry about using fancy paper or anything like that unless you're you know serious uh, about things. It's much better to uh, feel comfortable using something like cartridge or something like that just especially for practice for a bit of fun because sometimes if the paper is too expensive you feel a little bit inhibited about using it oh it's so expensive I better not whereas if you're using a little bit of cartridge which is not expensive you can just have a bit of fun <laughs> and it's marvellous, I'm discovering a lot of people are being very creative at the moment, and that's wonderful. You know what they say, good creativity is contagious. <laughs> that's the only kind of contagious thing we want to hear about. And it's, it's a very positive thing. And lots of fun. Doesn't matter what you're doing. Uh, when I say creative, I mean, of, of course, whatever way you like to express yourself, whether it's writing poetry or whether it's uh, being creative in the kitchen or whatever. And uh, I'm just doing a bit of orange up here for the bill. And if you want to make something appear stronger, you just lean a bit uh, heavier on the, the crayon. Like that and then just want to keep it fairly light you just lightly lean on it. So these are just to give you a little a little flavour or something and again great idea for making people birthday cards or you know good luck with exams or <laughs> something not too well you know Cheer them up with a nice uh, card. Always welcome. So that's a quick sketch of our pelican. And I just put a tiny bit of watercolour just to show you how uh, they work with the crowns here. Again, you're under no pressure, you can do all this at your leisure. This is just giving you a little quick uh, suggestion of how to uh, draw creatures like that. 
And again, at some stage we do, uh, you know, a more realistic one, whatever. But it doesn't matter what way you draw something. The main thing is just to enjoy the fun of doing something. And there's no one right way to draw. Everybody has their own way to put marks on a piece of paper. So I'll tell you what I do. I'll leave you with the original up again. And uh, I hope you're inspired to draw this pelican. <laughs> There we are. So anyway, I hope you enjoy that. I enjoyed drawing with you. So until the next time, do take care. So this is Don Conroy, urging you to be creative. <laughs> All the very best. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you wish.